Red Ozier, Bald Cypher, two foot okay. two. Well, today we have about 70 volunteers here. We've got about 1,200 tree seedlings to plant. The volunteers are a huge part of this. Um, they're providing the labor and you know the work to put in the trees. Uh, take your time, do it right, and we'll all together be working together to get it done. We've been losing trees along the creek for ever since I can remember, and I'm 40 years old, and we were having some trouble with the banks eroding, and so we fenced back to make a nice barrier buffer zone to keep the cattle out of the creek. Really, the trees help to absorb a lot of the nutrients in the buffer before any water runs off of the pasture and hits this stream. So we're really helping to put in a natural filter here up in the headwaters uh, up on Muddy Creek here. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation does work with farmers in the headwaters because we know we can't save the bay without saving the headwaters. Everything that flows into the bay comes from places like this. Red maple's going to grow up straight. You know, we all want to be good stewards, you know, of what, what got passed down to us and leave it as good or better for our own children and grandchildren. I never dreamed it would be this big of a project when it, when it wound up that we did plant some trees because now we've got a permanent fence and just, just to keep the cattle out of the stream is going to really help to clean things up. With that kind of a cost, we couldn't, we couldn't do that on our own. We kind of put all the puzzle pieces together with the cost shares to try to make it doable for the landowner to, you know, follow through and do it. Well, this, this project ended up costing uh, 11, around $11,000, and, you know, most farmers don't have that laying around. Uh, so we were really happy that the, the grants were there. See these two trees? Yeah. We want to be equidistant, so we're staggering this road. So your next tree is going to be right there. This was a work of a lot of different agencies, but the Chesapeake Bay Foundation was the, the spearhead. They just did a great job. I love finishing a project like this and getting to know another family and knowing that we're doing good work for their farms and good work for the water quality. I see all these people working and it's, it's amazing to me. It makes me feel good. You know, that something good is being done. Well, each project has its unique combination of what it needs and the types of partners that are most helpful and bring resources to it. We use a wide variety of partners, um, just what fits the niche best, and we really can't do this alone.